two beans and wolf back and everybody else in between. <laughs> so today's topic is about totems, animal totems. Um, I'm always constantly asked about them. Um, different questions, different things, you know, all that kind of stuff. I've touched on it a few times in the past. Uh, yesterday, one of the YouTubians, Meg, she asked, how do you find your totems, stuff like that. And that's a very common question. That's that's one that uh, is asked all the time, right? So I thought for how I do it today, uh, I thought I'll just throw an extra day in there uh, and we'll talk about that, okay? But before we get into that, we got to understand what a totem is and what it's about and the commitment and everything else. You see, if you're seriously going to look for your animal totems or your animal teachers, your animal spirits, your animal guides, all the same thing, just different names, okay? There are a lot of misconceptions, okay, about them. So let's clear some of those up. The first and foremost is everyone thinks that it's a native thing. It's not, okay? <laughs> it is, but it's not the only one. Uh, the Celtics, Red and Rock and all that. The Celtics have had animal spirit guides from forever, okay? Uh, the Egyptians... I've had them forever. Uh, every place, pretty much everywhere, has had animal guides or animal familiars or animal spirit helpers from every culture and every place in the world. Right? From the Celtics to the Egyptians to the natives to the Norse, the Norse of it. Uh, the Japanese, the Chinese, like everyone, the dragons, the, the, the turtle, the, um, there's so many of them. You, you can't even, you can, first of all, there's no way to, to think of them all because there's just too many. Okay. The second thing, it's a sacred thing. Okay. If you're going to be dealing with uh, animal spirits, animal totems, animal guides, animal teachers, anything of that nature. Okay. It's a commitment that you're making, too, okay? Uh, you don't go in and half-assed or half-heartedly, okay? It basically becomes a part of your life. It basically becomes a part of your belief system. It basically becomes a part of who you are, right? Um, animal totems can really enhance your life and enhance your way of living and your way of thinking, Um it can do so much uh, good in your life but at the same time you have to respect it you know you have to treat it with the respect that you wish it to treat you okay so it's not something that you go in willy-nilly all right that's the first thing okay you got to spend time and learn about your your animals okay you don't just do, 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 and away you go. It, it doesn't work like that, okay? It, it, it just doesn't. Um, what you want to do is you find your first totem. If you want, if you haven't got any totems, you want to find your first totem, okay? Now, there's many ways that you can find your totems. If you're lucky, if you're lucky, you might know an outer. The elder will have totems, lots of them. And the totems have brothers and sisters, right? And the elder might ask one of the other totems that aren't his totem, okay? Like, for instance, Alba is my totem, right? My teacher, my, my brother. But his brother, Timber, wasn't assigned a human. Okay, that's the only way I can think put it. So it was offered, hey, how about seeing buttons, right? Uh, Red Wolf, another one. How about going over and seeing Pup, you know, Sherry? So someone that already has a totem and has a relationship with a totem and, and their kin can suggest 
hey, why don't you go check this person out? And if you like that person, make your presence known, right? So that's one way to get your first totem. Okay, the second and the third totem, that's up to you, right? But that's one way. The other way is to meditate upon it, okay? Concentrate on it. Uh, empty your mind of all other things. And search for the animal, okay? And it's, it's a process too. Okay, there's also, you could go in a sauna, sweat lodge, you can go out in the bush, you know, and, and stay out there for two or three days without sleep, without eat, you know, just enough to, to keep going until your animal appears to you. Now, it might appear to you in a vision or you might actually see the animal come up to you and look at you and then walk away. <coughs> That's another way. Um, with me, the white wolves when I was drowning, pulled me out of the, out of the lake. That's how I got my first totem, okay? It was from them, saving my life. Um, but there's countless ways for you to find your first totem, okay? And I'm going to help you all with your first one today, okay? For those that are interested and those that are really searching uh, for it, okay? I'll be right back. So, here's, the, here's another misconception, is that you pick your totem. Incorrect. The totem picks you, okay? Your animal spirit will pick you. You don't really have much say, okay? You can say yes, or you can say no. Um, but, um, for the most part, you search for the animal, and the animal searches you out, okay? So, basically, you chase it till it catches you. That's basically the way it works, okay? So, let's say, for instance, here's your responsibility, okay? Let's say, for whatever reason, your first totem is, say, an owl, okay? Well, what do you do with this? Well, first of all, you've got to respect the owl, right? So, all of a sudden now, the owl becomes a brother, a type of deity, um... A thing of uh, that's sacred to you okay now what's your responsibility well your first thing is to learn all about the owl so you have to study you have to work hard what does the owl represent well let's see what are a few things it does well first of all it's, it's very wise it's one of the wisest birds right so uh, one of the things that will teach you is you know quit making rash decisions you know it's time for you to stop Look at everything, uh, watch it, and then make an informed decisions, right? That'd be one thing the owl teaches you. Uh, there's also very good hunters, right? So it'll teach you, if you really want something, get off your ass and go get it, you know? Uh, what else? They, they, they shut up, okay? In other words... Don't speak before you think, okay? So, like an owl will sit there and watch for hours and not make a noise. Then it decides, okay, now it's my time, and it and it takes that opportunity to make that noise and all, all kinds of things. So, basically, what I'm saying is you've got to study your animal, okay? What are its natural things that it does? What does it represent? How does it think? How does it move? How does it... you got to study it. And all of that, these are the things it's trying to teach you. It's trying to teach you a, a way to be, right? So, um, that's one example, okay? It would be, say, an owl, right? What if it was a spider? Okay? Now, a lot of people say a spider. I wouldn't want to... Why not? Let's think about that for a minute. So you've got this spider, and it shows organization, commitment, never giving up, okay? It'll, it'll spend days making the perfect web, and it'll be just the right thickness and just the right sturdiness so that when a fly lands on it, it'll feel which string it's on and know exactly where to go get its meal, right? Um, it's determination, you know, there's so many good things. That it can teach you right it also shows you teaches you to be patient 
right? Teaches you all kinds of beautiful things that you can learn from the spider, right? So that's another very good totem. It's a very strong totem, okay? There's all kinds, anything and everything could be a totem, okay? So, now we've got our totem, whatever it is. It doesn't matter what it is, because every totem is a good totem. Because it picks you because it knows, okay? And this is what you got to get in your head. Your totem picks you because it knows it's got a valuable things that it can teach you, okay? It's got value in its lessons for you. That's going to enhance your life, okay? So you got to you got to keep that in mind, and you got to you know really revere you know, um, but everything from spiders to snakes to bats to birds, uh, moose, deer, wolves. Doesn't matter what it is, okay? Once you got your totem, your responsibility is to study it. Your responsibility is to figure out. Okay, what are its natural, uh, nat natural attributes? What does it do naturally? Uh, what value does it have? Okay, all that stuff. You also learn what does it do that's negative because you don't want that part, right? So you find out what negative, and then what's going to make you laugh is whatever you find negative is usually something that you do, right? So then you can learn not to do that, right? So even there is a good lesson, okay? So basically, you study your animal, you learn everything about it and that, and you talk to your animal spirit, just like you would anyone else, right? Go in your closet, go to your kitchen table, go out for a walk in the forest, and talk to your spirit animal, okay? The only way the spirit animal is going to be real is if you make it real. The only way the spirit animal can help you is you believe it can help you, okay? If, if you can't do that then you're wasting your time okay if you can't believe in your animal spirit then why are you searching you're wasting your time okay you have to believe in your animal spirit you have to learn from it you have to study it you know and if you put effort into it you know spend a half an hour a day with each animal you know and just talk to them you know um, you know maybe when you're watching TV hey Alba, jump up on the couch and watch TV with me. Whatever, you know. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> but you got to show them that you care and that you got respect for them. Okay? So that's that. Now, once you've done that, and a few months go by, a few weeks, maybe years, who knows. But you got your first animal spirit and once you're really connected and you feel that connection and that connection is solid and you believe that the animal spirits if you're really tired you say hey could you give me some energy and it builds you back up or say hey can you i'm scared can you comfort me while i walk down this dark trail you know can you guide both sides so something doesn't jump out at me you know whatever when you get to the point that you can trust your animal spirit to help you you know, and you can help your animal spirit, that's when you ask it, okay? That's how you get your second one and your third one, okay? It just repeats. So, let's say your first one is a spider, right? I don't know why I'm on spiders today, but anyway, your first one's a spider. So then you say, hey, um, Charlotte, because Charlotte's went, right? Hey, Charlotte, we've been together now for so long, and... I value your opinion and I value what you do. Could you please help me find my second totem? Because you're allowed three, right? Could you please help me find my second totem? Now, here's what will happen. Let's say, for instance, you hardly ever see or notice a raven, right? They might be there 24-7. You just don't notice them. All of a sudden, everywhere you go, there's a raven. And it's sitting up there and looking at you and calling, or a crow, or perhaps there's a groundhog, or whatever. It could have always been there, but you just never noticed it. But now, for a couple of weeks on end, everywhere you look, everywhere you go, every time you look up, you see this bird. Okay, and it could be any bird. 
or you see this chipmunk or this squirrel or whatever it is, uh, a moose, a deer, a wolf, a bear, a buffalo, an ox, whatever, it doesn't matter. But all of a sudden, you're paying attention to this particular animal, right? And it's paying attention to you. But you just found your second animal, okay? So now you know who your next totem is. So all the things that you did with the first totem, you, you got to do with the second totem. But while you're doing the second totem, you can't ignore the first totem, okay? The first totem is always going to be your primary. It's going to be the boss of the other two totems, okay? So there's got to be control, and there's got to be... Um, control in an order of things okay so your your primary animal is always going to be the boss okay the other two are just as important but when it comes to dollars and donuts whatever the first one ever tells you he can override the second and the third one okay you understand what i'm saying but 99 times out of 100 you're going to be happy with what the other ones are doing, okay? So you don't have to worry about the teachings. You don't have to worry about the learnings. You don't have to worry about any of that. But let's say you're going into, because I work with the spirits all the time, I go into a haunted house, right? If my spirit guide elbow stands in front of me, okay, sideways, then I know I'm not, a, I, I can't go forward. I have to take, pick a different direction, Okay. I can stay in the house, but for whatever reason, I can't go in that particular room at this particular time, right? So let's say two of the animal spirits start heading towards the room, and Alba goes, Junk. that's it. I'm not going in there. So, okay, guys, let's pick a different room. Now we'll go to a different room, okay? And then we'll come back downstairs all of a sudden, and Alba will walk towards the room and stop at the door, look back at me, and say, okay, let's go, right? So... That's the type of thing I'm talking about, okay? Where the spirit will um, turn around and say, oh, we're taking a break, okay? So one more thing I just thought of that's important is you'll ask somebody, oh, what's your animal totem? And they'll give you one answer, okay? You might notice this, a lot of people do this, okay? What's your animal totem? Oh, a wolf. What's your animal totem? Oh, a bear. What's your animal totem? A zebra, elephant, giraffe. Highland ox, highland bull, water bull, water ox, whatever. They'll say one, okay? The reason for that is because that's their primary one, okay? The primary is always the one they're going to say first, okay? Now, the secondary, the second one and the third one, they're at the same level, okay? They're, one is not higher than the other one. It's just you got that one first. Okay, but your first one is your primary. It'll always be with you from the moment you get it till the moment you're dead. Okay, that one will never leave your side. Okay. The other two, once they've got to the point where they feel they'd be better off teaching someone else because you've already learned all the lessons, those two can change. Okay. You may find one day that, and you'll know because they'll tell you, right? Because you, by then you're going to have a relationship with them. And then you'll find a new one, okay? So let's say this one was a raven, right? And the raven says, okay, it's time for me to move on to teach another younger, a younger, a youngin, okay? So you will be blessed and I will send you a new totem, right? So when that one leaves, you're gonna start seeing these animals again. Now, whether they're in your dreams, or when you just do it up on the couch, you see this animal, you close your eyes, this animal will appear. That's your new totem to replace that one, okay? Or it could be just like the raven again. You know, you could, whatever. But you will get a new totem, okay, to replace uh, the one that left, okay? And it'll be with you until it can't teach you no more again. Or it might decide to stay with you forever, who knows? The point is, they could switch, they could change those two, okay? So that's just something to keep in mind, um, that those two are, uh, depending on the situation, they might they might change, or they might be with you forever, I don't know. And no one could tell because you don't know what's gonna happen, right? If they figure that uh, 
you know, they can help someone else more because you've already achieved all that they can teach you, then they may feel it's necessary to go teach someone else, okay? And that's just the way of life. That's just the way it works. Okay. So one other thing to remember is your animal spirits are going to help you with all your spiritual endeavors. Okay. So if you're working with the spirits or if you're, say you're investigating some bad spirits come, they're going to jump right in the path and protect you. That's what they do. Okay. So keep that in mind. All right. Now it's nice if you know how to make um, spirit energy bikes. Uh, to, to feed them the spirit energy um, that's a good thing to do once a week but you might have to learn how to make that and that might be a new show somewhere down the line who knows okay but one thing that you should do well no i shouldn't say that one thing that i do every meal whether it's breakfast lunch supper i don't care i always make an ounce more okay so let's say i eat two eggs two sausages and two toasts, okay? Let's say I do that. I'll take a quarter of one piece of toast and put on a plate, a little bit of the egg white, put on a plate, and cut off a quarter of the sausage and put on a plate. And then I say to my spirit animals, this is for you. Please enjoy it and, and, and have the energy, right? So every meal, I make just a little bit more than I need so that I can give it to them. Um, so that they can have energy and so that they can keep helping me and I keep helping them. And it's just a real good sign of respect. Um, and also to give them water or coffee or juice, a little bit in a little thimbleful, you know, like a shot glass. Um, here you go, guys. Because to them, that's like a, a smorgasbord, okay? It's enough for uh, a family to come in for a buffet with the spirit world, okay? In the spirit world, um, that could feed like a hundred totems, okay, not just three, okay, so that much food could feed an army, okay, so, you know, it doesn't take nothing off of you, but it's sure, it's sure to show them respect, and that you care about them, okay, so each meal, just take a little bit off, and put it on a separate saucer for them only, and put it either on your table, or just by the stove, or someplace that you always put it, okay, that's important, always put their food and their drink in the same spot okay because then that way they know it's theirs okay simple as all right so that's about it uh keep in mind you know the some if you're seriously want to know what your totems are and you seriously want to um get involved well then don't forget you have to be involved okay it's not something that you just do half-assed okay so either either you're serious about it and you're going to respect your totems and respect your animal spirits or don't waste their time okay it's that simple all right so now i'm going to help you with your first with your first animal okay so everyone who's watching this at the end of this cinema if you did it okay if you picked your first animal i want you to write down in the comments okay in the comment what your animal spirit is Okay, because you're all going to know. Okay, every single one of you, there's no way you won't know if you follow my simple instruction here. Okay, so when you find out what your animal spirit is, write it in the comment. Okay, and then start researching and learning all about it and stuff like that, like we've all talked about. Okay, so now keep in mind, it could be a bat, it could be a bird, it could be a fish, it could be a whale, it could be a shark. Could be a highland bull, could be a giraffe, could be an elephant, could be a zebra, could be a beaver, could be an otter, could be a seagull, could be a hawk, could be an eagle, could be anything. Any right? spider, could be anything. Dragonfly, doesn't matter, okay? Any animal or anything that flies, anything that crawls, doesn't matter. It's going to be your totem, okay? It's going to be your animal totem, all right? So, you ready? Now, you're going to answer this question, okay? And you're just going to answer it. You're not going to think about it. You're not going to go, hmm, ha, ha. No. Mm -mm. You're just going to answer it, period. And this will be your very first and foremost totem, okay? So, 
this one here, the one that you're going to get is going to be your primary. Your primary will never leave your site. It will always be there. Okay? So, I want to give you an example. Before we before we do this, okay, let's say you get a mouse. <laughs> a mouse is just, just as strong as an elephant. Okay, it's a fact. A mouse can lift can lift one hundred times its weight. Okay, they're very very strong for their size, right? And in the spirit world, you times that by ten. Okay, so let's just give you an example. It doesn't matter. See, in some cultures, there's a hierarchy. Okay. This animal is hierarchy. This one's hierarchy. This one's high, this one's here. This one's there. and they got like a <clears throat> a pyramid sort of of animals. Okay, in our culture, there's no pyramid. It's a straight line. Okay, every single one is just as important and just as powerful and just as as essential as the next one. Okay, because keep in mind they're there for you. To teach you because you need them they've decided that you're the one that they want to spend their life with to teach you all they know right and to defend you and when they choose you if say you were attacked by something really dark they would die to protect you okay that's all that's all serious they take it okay the animal totems all right so with that said now <clears throat> Let's think about blue, yellow, green, pink, polka dots, bananas, apples, oranges, anything at all. Think of anything. Clear your mind of shit and think. don't think about animals. Think about anything else. Boats, fishing, uh, flying a kite, I don't know. Just clear your brain for a second. We're just going to give you oh, two sips of coffee to clear your head. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And then you're going to answer this question. I lied. First animal that comes to your mind. Write it down. That's your totem. Okay? That's your primary. That's it. Okay? From here on, they will help you select, or you can go and do the traditional ways. There's all kinds of different traditional ways from every culture and how to get them. Okay? But I find, for myself and for, for our clans and stuff like that, for generations, first one comes to your mind, that's your, that's your main one, right? Then let him or her show you who your second one is, right? And then that way you're going to have a real good relationship with them, okay? So, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, other than that, you know what I say? Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Watch out for ghosts. <laughs> and have a great night. And we'll see you next time.